Welcome back, Linux enthusiasts. Wayland has been a significant focus in the Linux community for quite some time as an alternative to the older X window system. Its integration has been ongoing across various Linux distributions, but it's essential to note that progress and timelines can differ between distributions and software projects. As of early 2022, several distributions like Fedora, OpenSUSE, and Arch Linux have made considerable strides in supporting Wayland. However, the complete integration and transition from Zorg to Wayland for all desktop environments and applications might vary in complexity and pace. GNOME and KDE, two of the most popular desktop environments, have been working on Wayland support for some time. GNOME has made significant progress and is moving towards making Wayland the default display server. KDE Plasma also has decent Wayland support, but might still rely on X Wayland for some functionalities. The progress of Wayland integration depends on factors like desktop environment support. Different desktop environments have varying levels of Wayland support, and their progress may differ. Driver support. Graphics drivers play a crucial role. While major GPU vendors like Intel, AMD, and NVIDIA have been working on Wayland support, the completeness of their drivers can impact the overall progress. Application compatibility. Not all applications are optimized for Wayland, and some might rely on X Wayland for now. Distribution roadmaps. Each Linux distribution sets its own pace for adopting Wayland. Some might prioritize it more aggressively than others. Community contributions. Wayland's development and integration heavily rely on community contributions and developer efforts, which can affect the pace of its adoption. Predicting an exact timeline for full Wayland support across all Linux distributions and desktop environments is challenging. Complexity of migration. Moving from Zorg to Wayland involves substantial changes and ensuring compatibility with a wide range of hardware and software configurations. This complexity can affect the timeline. Desktop environment adoption. Different desktop environments are at varying stages of Wayland support. While some, like GNOME, have made significant progress, others might still need more work. Full support also relies on robust driver support from GPU manufacturers like Intel, AMD, and NVIDIA. Progress here impacts the overall timeline. Application compatibility. Ensuring that all applications run seamlessly on Wayland without relying on X Wayland is a significant task, and the timeline depends on developers' efforts. Community and distribution priorities. Each Linux distribution sets its own priorities and schedules. Some may prioritize Wayland integration more aggressively than others. Given the ongoing development, it's difficult to provide a precise estimation. In conclusion, although there is still much work to be done, Wayland has made significant strides in becoming a viable alternative to the aging Zorg display server. This is confirmed by major Linux distributions such as Fedora, KDE, and GNOME that have adopted it. As always, if you find this video useful, please like, share, and subscribe.